32 killed, countless others wounded, and suspect suicide. Five killed, 21 injured, and suspect suicide. Five killed, a few others injured, gunmen commit suicide. Mass shootings on college campuses happen far too often with devastating results. Perhaps this is related to prohibition on concealed carry on school campuses. All across the United States, there have been mass shootings at schools. Today I want to focus on colleges. Virginia Tech University in 2007. 32 were killed and countless others injured. The gunman committed suicide before police could get to him. According to the New York Times, the massacre involved two separate shootings. The first was around 5.15 a.m. at a dormitory building. Two people were killed. The gunman fled to a lecture hall, chained the doors, and began killing in masses. It's believed that the first killing was victim-specific, but the second attack was unbiased. Northern Illinois University in 2008. Five people were killed, at least 20 others injured, and the gunman commits suicide before police arrive. Elia Powers with Inside Higher Education reported that a gunman dressed in all black emerged from behind a screen at the front of a lecture room and opened fire. The gunman then killed himself. Once again, there was no clear explanation for the shooting. University of Iowa in 1991. Five people were killed, a handful of others wounded, and the gunman committed suicide before police could arrive. A 28-year-old former University of Iowa graduate student went to a physics and astronomy department meeting. Within a few minutes of the meeting starting, he shot four members. He then walked a few blocks to another hall and requested to see the academic vice president. After complaining to her about not winning a prize, he shot her and one of the other employees that was nearby. One gunshot victim survived, but was paralyzed from the neck down. The gunman was found dead of self-inflicted wound a few rooms away. It is believed that the shooting occurred because the suspect did not win a prize for his dissertation that he had hoped would increase his chances of becoming a professor. Concealed handgun license holders are prohibited from carrying on any school campus early childhood through university. Licensed applicants go through classroom training that is an eight-hour course, shot accuracy evaluation, and a thorough background check involving fingerprinting sent to the department. It is not something you can just sign up for and go purchase, as stated on the Texas Concealed Handgun Licensing Division website. There is an inevitable delay between a shot being fired and the arrival of law enforcement. What can we do to lessen that delay? How could we increase reaction time to avoid such high numbers of deaths? Is there a way to sort of stage security within the classroom without having to budget that many security personnel? I believe we can use concealed carry license holders to help protect students and faculty members on college campuses. I believe that by allowing college students and faculty members who legally hold concealed handgun licenses to carry on campus we could respond to attacks more quickly. We could provide almost immediate defense for the innocent students and faculty who are becoming victims of these campus shootings. Why should we not allow these very trained professional carriers to help our students? Thank you.